Hi guys. I hope you are doing well at home. We sure miss you at Buffalo Ridge. Um, I thought I would come on and try to do a real quick video on how to use Padlet since some of you have never used Padlet before. So I'm going to present my screen. I'm going to try to make this quick because I know that other video was pretty long. Okay, so I'm going to actually show you someone else's Padlet from last year. And I'll actually post this in the checklist so you can check this Padlet out. Um, because they did such a good job of making their project really come to life. Okay, so this is the Padlet um, that I'm going to show you. And so as you can see, it's kind of like a Google Slide, but it's more interactive. So think of each one of these boxes as a slide in Google Slide. So you have your picture, and then you have your information, right? And all of this information come, comes from your notes. So if I'm using my notes, which are going to be different, I might have my titles be the Louisiana Territory, the Pike Expedition, and Impossible Peak. I can use those same titles. And then I would just put my notes in complete sentences. That's a big one. So we don't want to just copy and paste these notes in if they're not in complete sentences. You can copy and paste them into your Padlet box, but then just make sure you change them to complete sentences. You might have to add a little bit more information. Now, eventually you're going to present this um, on Colorado Day. So you want to make sure that it all flows nicely and it makes sense. So you can find your Padlet by finding your name and then clicking the Padlet link right next to your name. Okay. So like I said, your title goes up here. Then you can add a picture with your information and then your information goes below. Notice how they wrote in complete sentences here. Now these guys wrote in more of a paragraph form. If you want, you can do bullet points. Um, how I like to do bullet points, this is how you edit. Um, I like to just use the dash key that's right next to your zero key on your Chromebook. Or if you really want to do bullet points, you can highlight it. And then this is how you would do a bullet point there. Okay. All right. So let's talk about Padlet. How do we use it? So the most important thing about Padlet is sometimes for some for your boxes, you do need to save them. Actually, all the time you need to save them. Um, so if I'm writing a title here, so I would write like Louisiana territory or something that has to do with my topic. Okay, notice how I capitalize the title and then I would write my facts. I'm just going to say write facts down here. Okay, so your facts would go down here. That's kind of where their paragraph went, right? Okay, if I want this to save, I have to click publish. Otherwise, if I click the X, it's going to just erase everything. I'm going to start over with what I had. So I have to click, click publish to save. Okay, so if I want to add more to this box, you do edit post. Okay, you don't have to worry about all those other things under these um, boxes just yet. When you come back to school, I can show you more how these work. Um, but this is just if you want to connect it to a post. You don't really need to know how to do any of these yet. Okay, if you want to change the color, though, sometimes that's kind of fun. You can change that. But let me show you the other things that make Padlet really great. Okay, so if you click these three dots, I can search for, for an image um, to put in here. So if I want to search um, something about the Louisiana Territory, I can just type that in the search bar. You're going to notice you get some pictures that don't really have to do with it, just like you do on Google. But it looks like this would be a good picture for me to show a map of the United States and what the Louisiana Purchase um, all included. So as you can see, my picture will go right underneath my title, and then I can continue writing my facts down there. So our goal is to get all that good information um, in our Padlet first. So what I mean by that is like you put your pictures, your titles, and then your facts go here. So we want to get our facts in our Padlet first. Then we can jazz up our Padlet by choosing from that menu um, that you watched Mrs. Harmon and I go over yesterday. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you watch it. I'm sorry it's a long one. Um, but it has some really good information about what each project could be. These guys 
um, did kind of like a podcast where they recorded their information. And then what's really cool is they made a TV series. It's called the Caden and Sam TV series. And I'll let you guys watch this. I'll link it in the um, checklist for you. But um, if you watch these, you'll see they really made a cool TV show about explaining what the Louisiana Purchase is, what the Lewis and Clark expedition was. So each episode talks about a different um, topic about um, the Louisiana Purchase. And it's really funny. So I would definitely recommend um, watching a video or two. And then what also was really cool is they made a quiz on a Google form to quiz their parents because how often do you get to quiz your parents? This is your time to do it um, for your Colorado Day project. So back to Colorado Day, you would present your information, right? These are your facts and you have awesome pictures to go with them. And then you jazz it up by choosing something from the project menu. If you ever are wanting to look at that project menu, I did link it on your checklist, but it's also always right here. Okay. All right. Well, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. You can email me. Um, sometimes it's a busy day and I don't get to back to you till later, but I will always get back to you the same day. So just let me know if you have a question and I'm happy to help. All right. Have a great day, guys.